To me, the definition of athletic performance is the student athlete having all the necessary resources they need and personnel they need to be successful. And in athletic performance, that's mind, body, and soul. I think one of the things that impressed me the most about uh, Doug Padron was just the vision to build a collaborative team. He really wanted everything in-house, wanted communication to be a high priority. We are a group of highly trained individuals that come together and work as a team for the betterment of our student athletes. That's strength and conditioning, sports medicine, nutrition, mental performance, and everybody that's in that department, we're either in the weight room or in the training room. One of the great things about the new performance center, the bridge, was designing a space that created a flow. We've renovated our strength conditioning space. Now we have this, these large open spaces that are state of the art, but they really symbolize the mission and the work that Justin Leach and his staff and Stephanie Ludwig and her staff do every day. Really, it's one unit. It pretty much shows that we're here for the student athlete. I think the hiring of Justin Leach early in the process, who had a shared vision, has been the heartbeat first of athletic performance, but now of this entire department. I had the administrative roles of overseeing the Department of Athletic Performance, overseeing strength and conditioning, overseeing uh, sports medicine, and how they collaborate together and work with each of the, the respective teams. He's allowed me to take ownership of the programs I want to implement with women's basketball, and he's always off to the side, giving me feedback after uh, certain lifts or conditioning sessions that, you know, that guide me along the way and help me become a better coach. All the equipment that we have at our disposal, it definitely helps from a programming standpoint to uh, implement things that we need to do to help our athletes become more resilient, stronger, and in better condition uh, for their sports. We're using metrics to identify the student athletes' deficiencies and train them to a point where they stay well. Whether it's a new software program or a new philosophy, over the past few years they've made a difference in the lives of our student athletes. The great thing about Sparta and the force play technology is it gives us a better picture of how the athletes create their force, how they create movement, and we can monitor fatigue as well. And then with the app, we can monitor sleep and how they are doing with their regen. So it all comes down to you know, building good habits and educating athletes. It's also been kind of cool to see that, that Sparta developed to you know, a company that NFL teams and teams around the world are using. And I think that's kind of what we do here at USF. We identify unique opportunities um, that will benefit our student athletes. My role in the department is to ensure that every athlete on campus gets proper nutrition to enhance their performance. Making sure that your plate has the five food groups on it, making sure that you're eating fruits and vegetables throughout the day, in addition to your proteins, your carbohydrates, making sure you're hydrating with enough water throughout the day. Those things are really crucial to athletic performance because if they don't learn that foundation right when they get on campus, then their performance here may not be as great as it could be. Melissa has come in and she meets with each one of our freshmen individually. It really helps them kind of understand the value of nutrition in terms of being your optimum self, being able to get through a, a practice and not just you know struggle through it, but be able to really attack the practice. Alyssa really educates our guys. I don't think many 18-year-old uh, kids coming out of high school have any idea how what you've put in your body affects output. Just seeing an athlete do something for the first time that they'd never done before nutritionally is a huge win. It makes me so happy. I think if your performance is not matching your ability, you should be working on your mental side. I've never had an athlete tell me that the most important game of their career was less than 60% mental. Usually they say something like 80 or 90% mental. So it's vitally important. I think Yvonne is a huge asset for our program. She's really, really good at helping kids identify sources of anxiety, helping kids identify things that might help them. A fraction of a percent, even, at this level makes a big difference. I think she really identifies with our, what our guys have processed, especially our elite athletes that, that need that 1% edge, as like a Frankie Ferrari who's returning all league players, just trying to find any edge you can. The athletes have really come to understand, they don't come to me because they don't have confidence. They're division one athletes. 
They have a lot of confidence and a lot of focus or they wouldn't be here. They just want more. See that basket? All yours. We have very high expectations of our athletic trainers. We see them as the point people for the entire athletic performance team. Having a presence, being committed, observing. All those things make it easier to prevent athletes from being injured. Doug especially has really given us the opportunity and the allowance to go out and find what we think is gonna do best for our team and our student athletes. Because of that support, we're able to get the best things that are out there, whether that's a new technology, a new tool. And with that, we're seeing you know, kids staying on the court longer, kids coming back faster. It's just going above and beyond, and I feel that the best athletic trainers have to have that hunger, as well as just you know being able to you know, want to go the extra mile. Chris and I work hand in hand together. You know, men's and women's basketball very important to, to be on the same page because we're going at the same time. We're seeing the same things, and it might be that I've seen something that he hasn't. And just having that open communication and the ability to talk to each other really helps our student athletes. It's a great time to be a women's basketball team at USF. We've, we've got new training room facilities, we've got new weight room facilities, we've got the great locker room. They're going to you know, make some improvements to War Memorial. We've got a, a practice facility in the works. So really, really encouraging in terms of the things that they're trying to provide for us. It goes back to what we talked about, having a great attitude, a great work ethic, and guys that really want to be here. We, we look for, we like to say, smart wins and hard work wins, so these things work together. So when we find these guys that we're willing to put in the time, they're gonna take advantage of all these resources, now we're gonna get the guys that want that and become the best they can be.